Hi, this is Osho, and welcome back to Backbone. We have got quite deep into this conspiracy that's been going on. It turns out that the world we're living in isn't quite what we thought it was. So people are eating other people. And there's a bit of a, a chain of command amongst this world where these people live, and it's not looking good. There's also some biochemistry involved at some point. I'm not really sure how that's going to come into it. And also, I am aware that this game came out recently, and there was a bit of a, a reaction amongst fans who they kind of thought this game would just be a straight detective noir kind of game. But maybe there's going to be a twist or a turn that we're not quite expecting. So I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. I'm interested to see where this is going to go. Okay, so we're going to tuck in Renee, sweet dreams, and we are going to go and investigate tomorrow. Go to sleep. We'll get that nap, and we'll start again the following day. How are you, okay? You're breeding more than Essie after I forgot the dishes. Oh, this is our friend, you're gonna give us a ride. I've got lots on my mind, man, okay? So how about you share instead, yeah? It might do you and that overworked brain of yours some good. This case keeps getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth, and then there's Renee. Wow, the lady, yeah? No wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together, and I respect that. Good working together and mutual respect? Not bad ingredients. If you're looking to cup up little something something, it's all I'm saying, right? Little bit of something something. Okay, he's gonna drop us up in the new area. Is that you, Street Hawk? Why is he called? Yeah, since when do I have a code name? Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyway, how's it been going over there? Uh, so far nothing, and my feet hurt. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelley. <laughs> if get the fuck out counts as speaking, then sure. Okay, I tried everything, but they have a total mistrust of strangers. Damn, well, um, stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk. Okay, maybe. What if this is a total wild geezer chase? Why are the geese called geezers? Okay, whatever. It might be, but we won't know until we follow the leads. You should know this stuff is never handed to you on a plate. Okay, I really hope you're right. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. Okay, I hope the building has an elevator. We should get you some insoles. Maybe you've got some high arches in your feet. Anyway, think positive. You got this. Okay, and if I don't got this, then we'll figure out something else. Good luck. Remember to knock gently and let me know how it goes. Okay, thanks, Renee. So we are in the West End. We are trying to find just some clues or something. Gabriella, hello. I'm busy. Okay, fine. Bye. No one wants to talk. Doctor Aleve. West End doctors. Jack of all trades. Masters of none. All right. So who's this on the bench? A superintendent. Who are you? Um, I'm a private investigator. Called Howie. A detective? Dressed like that? What? Well, this is how detectives dress, dude. Because I am one. You're trash. That's what you are. Wow. And you're such a tutorial trailblazer. I know what works on me, and I work it, damn it. Wow, your socks say otherwise? Hey, leave the socks out of it. Hmm. I'm going inside, okay? You wanna go in? Tell me who you're visiting. Okay, Beverly Fam, okay? You don't give that poor woman any trouble, you hear? She's had enough of it for five lifetimes already. I'll be watching. Alright, Scout's Honor. So, Beverly. Hello? Wow. Got a, a blackbird on the elevator there? It's a bit of a dive. Do we want to take the elevator or shall we take the stairs? I guess we got to take the elevator. Uh, control panel. Let's go to floor five. Hello. Oh, got some books. Looks like a communal library or a book swap. Maybe I should set up a similar thing in my building. That'd be kind of fun. Okay, let's, let's knock on the door. Hello. I think I can hear someone in there. Knock again. Hello. No, they're not answering. What's this? Bicycle. Whoever owns this trusty bike is very trusting. Most likely it's broken. 
if you left it outside, you might well get robbed. So, no one here. There's the stairs. No. Nope, no one's around. So let's... Can we take the stairs down then? I'm tired. I'll treat myself to the elevator, no problem. Let's go up to the 8th. Hello. Oh, hello. Luxie. Beat it, Grandad. Okay, do you know of any missing girls from around here? No, we don't fuck with that crowd. Okay, how come? We're dead mice collective, bitch. Alright. Um, do you tell. We're a self-governing anarcho-countercultural movement. Okay, what's the agenda? Damn right, it's the mouse parade. We disrupt the hood and challenge people's minds. Okay, how? Graffiti, protest, lovemaking, whatever it takes. Nice, stay angry. Damn straight, we'll never rest. No peace till the masquerade comes to fruition. Okay, keep at it. Thanks, Grandad. Okay, do you live on this floor? Nah. Well, of course you do. What about Bean? Core. What? Core? Let's call back. You understand? This is good. I am Crow. Good for you, kid. So maybe he's the guy who did the, uh, the graffiti on the elevator door? Downstairs. Okay, there's a doorless door. I guess my lead doesn't live here anymore. Good for you, Bill. Anybody else? Let's knock on this door. No one's home. Okay. A boarded up door. Hello. This dredges up some painful memories. I don't want to go back to this life. And a mattress. The stains are mysterious and unappealing. I hope nobody has to sleep on this. Yeah, this is the this is the rough end of town. All right, let's let's go back to the the first floor. So, hmm, shall we leave? Nothing going on. What's this way? Anything? Labor districts that way. Wouldn't go there even if my life depended on it. Wow. So there's there's a rougher area than this one. This place is just a bit run down. It's it's not the worst. I've seen worse. I've been to worse. I've lived in worse. But this is fine. Oh, the Yumi Mart. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Good old Yumi. All right. Anybody else around? Hello. All these little apartment blocks and stuff. Got a pawn shop. Hey, Po. Post the name. News is the game. Bo, I mean Mo. I know that's you. Slip of the tongue is Po. Wow, you're even disguised. The way you speak is impressive. I'm an honest guy with an honest voice. I'm not sure I like what you're implying here. Um, what I don't get is everything. Isn't this the newsstand guy who is like in all the other areas of town? Current affairs can be a complex puzzle to unravel. Let me know if you like something explaining. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to let you have this. Thanks, mister. But you shouldn't worry about people judging you, okay? I'm not worried. This is just me. Oh, okay. I get it. I won't tell. I appreciate your understanding, sir. Stay newsy. Stay cool. Weird. Uh, nothing this way but sadness and sore feet. Okay, let's just head back. There must be something in the apartment block that we missed. We tried knocking on the door. Nobody answered. So, what do I need to do to get people's attention? But Gabriella, she wasn't chatting, was she? Still busy. Alright, fine. So, let's... Let's head back inside. Was there a... There wasn't anywhere down here, was there? No. Let's just go up. One more time. To the fifth. It's this door, isn't it? Um, no, this one. Hello? Oh, it's Beverly. Can I help you? Beverly fam, you're Leslie's mother? What's this got to do with Leslie? I'm not going to sign anything. Um, Howard Lotar, private investigator. I need to know about Leslie's background. Private? What does that mean? It means I'm not the police. So why in Shepard's good name are you wasting your time out here? I have to know the truth, it's eating me up. What makes you so sure it's a waste? Other girls went missing too. I want to find the connection. I've got my own life to live and not enough time to live it. Okay, when did she disappear? 
No, I ain't gonna go over it all again. Okay, did she act weird before disappearing? I don't have time for this, there's nothing you can do. Okay, I wanna find her. I'm gonna be late for work, that's a real job? Okay, I know it's hard, but maybe others are still at risk. What I want is to move on, and to not get my pay docked for being late so Henry doesn't go hungry. Okay, can I speak to Henry then? Just go, oh hi! Henry, get back inside this instant. Hey there, Henry. Is he looking for Leslie? Maybe he... Maya knows. Maya? This instant, Harry. Okay, you got another kid. Raising him yourself. Okay, but who's Maya? I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Um, Another time. I don't want to make you late. I'm sorry, but no. I think it's best we leave it here. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I appreciate your concern, but that's really enough. I prefer not to see you again. Oh god, I get it. Good, and if you're thinking about speaking to the neighbours, don't. I wouldn't dream of it, thanks for your time. No good, no good. Hmm. Find a connection between the missing girls from West End. Find a way to speak to Henry Pham. Okay, this, this didn't work out. She made herself clear. I won't bother her again. I wish I could talk to the kid, though. So, I haven't got to climb around the building again, have I, to break in from the outside? It's happened before. I'd rather it not happen again, but I'll do what I can. No one's here. This isn't working out. This investigation is tough. No one wants to talk. It's... People are kind of like... They're kind of downtrodden and defeated, so they've given up. They've given up. Oh! Oh no. Okay, we're trapped in the elevator with her. Okay. I won't make trouble going down. Yeah, thanks. Pleasure. Um, this thing is slow, huh? Eh, it works. Um, I hope your work is, you know, good. It won't be. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Nearly there. Oh, ground. Sorry for everything. That was awkward. Wait, Beverly went to work, which means that Henry is alone. So, is this is this responsible, what we're doing? But we're going to do it anyway, because it's our only lead. Uh, hi. Hey Henry, it's me again. I'm a detective, looking for Leslie. Wow, you don't look like a detective, really. Um... Your mum's gone to work, you got anyone looking after you? That's a bit of a creeper question, dude. Okay, what should a detective look like? Much cooler and kind of scarier. Well, at least I'm not scary. Speaking of, are you okay without your mum? I know how to look after myself, bro. Alright. And I want to look after Leslie. Is she okay? Can you really find her? Um, I don't know yet. I'll do my best. Okay, but don't tell mum. Okay, why? Why doesn't she want me to talk about it? I don't know. She always gets mad if I ask. Okay. You were going to say something earlier about Leslie? Yeah, but Mum says Leslie made her own bed. I make my bed too. Okay. Proud of you, bud. But you mentioned someone called Maya? Leslie's friend. Okay. Do you know her well? She always brought me sweets. Okay, so what's her family name? Maya? Louder. I wish I'd lived with her instead. Okay, where's she live? With her weird stinky brother Samson. Stinky or stanky? Alright. Nearby, in the flats? No, no, down the road. The house with the red door. Thanks, you've been super helpful. Um, if you see Maya... Uh, don't worry, I won't tell her what you said. I better go check on Mr. Flufo now. Mr. Who now? He's my toy bear. Okay. Take good care of each other. So that's... That's not really something I would advise doing. If you're aware that there's been a child left alone in a house, do not. Do not pursue that. Do not talk to that child. Keep them safe. Keep them clear of trouble. But we're a detective. We're going to leave no stone unturned. So is there somewhere with a red door? This place? Hello? Samson Louder. Who are you? What do you want? 
Oh, um, you Samson? Depends. He's asking. Um, private investigator. I don't trust your kind. Yeah, well, it's my I want to speak to her anyway. Why well, is not home? Okay. Where is she? Who do you think I am? I don't know. Are you the brother? Do you know Leslie? Careful, anyone could be listening. Come in. You got some explaining to do, bud. Um, sure. Okay, we got lit inside. Hopefully that's a good thing. Speak, don't bullshit me. Um, where's Maya? I'd like to talk to her. Why? What do you want her for? Speak. Um, I'm investigating the girls that are missing in the area. You got a theory? You must have a theory. And it better be good. I don't work with amateurs. Um, work with? What do you mean? She's gone. Are you going to help look for her? Or are you just wasting my fucking time? Maya's also missing. Wait, she wasn't in the database. Maybe I overestimated you. Just tell me what you think, quickly. Um, I think the missing girls are being killed. Fine. Fuck no, Maya would never get caught. Okay, you've been looking for it yourself? I've been looking, of course. I went to the bite. Did she work there? You don't know shit, do you? Well, I didn't know that, at least. Doesn't matter. No one can touch Clarissa Bloodworth. Did you meet her? I tried. Couldn't make it happen. But maybe next time. Okay. So let's ask. What do you think happened to Maya? I think Maya found out something she wasn't meant to and bounced. And the bite closed ranks, pretending like it never happened. Okay. What do you think she discovered? None of your business. Okay. We know better than this. We know that people are pushing a drug in there. But also with that drug people who find out about it or get in too deep they end up in the basement chopped up into pieces and then shipped out to get eaten so hmm i think this is my business it sounds like you suspect me uh no i'm just trying to get things straight you wouldn't be alive if i really thought you suspected me go on ask your questions okay did my have any close friends I met a few, mostly factory girls, until they became bike girls. Okay, Leslie Pham was her friend. There's no way she was really friends with that slut. Wow. It's not cool to talk about women like that. Nobody knew her like I did. She's poison. Okay, so what's the story? She made me her love, okay? To get close to Maya and to break us apart. Okay, did it work? Yeah, but I saw through her plan before things between Maya and I got too bad. Why did you think she did it? She was always on the job, trying to butter you up, so you'd visit the bite and she'd look good to her boss. Hmm. Do you think Maya loved her? Hmm, probably. Everyone did. Sure. So, what else are we going to do? I'm sorry, thank you for sharing that with me. Just promise, if you find out what happened, you have to tell me. Okay, so how long was Maya at the bite? A couple of months. Felt like forever. And what was her job there? She started off as a waitress. She got promoted. Within a couple of months. Okay. She talked much about what happened in there? Not much. She said Clarissa saved her life. It's fucking bullshit. What, and you argued about that? She told me to back off. Said she'd loved working upstairs. Okay. Did she seem happy? Yeah, she was always smiling. Okay, what was she like as a person? She's pure, kind, and brave. She's a survivor, and I probably owe her my life. Uh, how old was she? 19. Don't talk about her in past tense, you prick. Okay. You'd obviously do anything for her. Of course it's fucking obvious. Alright, was she ever into drugs? We're gonna ask the question. No, she didn't need that shit to be happy. She was strong. Okay, I'm sure she still is. The strongest. Okay, did anything happen between you and Mai before she went missing? What are you implying? Um, was she acting weird? Nah, things were good. I suppose her friend had just gone missing. Okay, who? I think her name was Rose. Okay, they worked together? Yeah, thinking about it, I think she was the first of them to start the bite. Okay, maybe the other girls know something. Trust me, I've tried it, no dice. Fine, can I take a look around? Around our house? Sure, but don't touch anything or I'll fucking kill you. Alright, fine, let's have a look. Nice aquarium. Cute lizard. Seems chill. That is cute. So, what else have we got? 
a sword and a plinth. Wow, it's the Blade of Heroes, maybe. Hmm, photos, that must be my... Oh, 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 no, what? What's going on? No, why? What? Huh? I just realised why you're really here. They sent you, didn't they? What? Who, who, what? Who they? Say your name. Fuck, I pronounce it. I'm Howard Lothar. Okay, I see you're consistent. That doesn't prove anything. I want to find Leslie and Maya. Who told you about the missing girls? Uh, Renee, my partner. How convenient, you forgot to mention her before. She's um, my researcher, no one important. And you trust her? How do you know she's not a double agent? Um, I'd be dead by now if she was. Maybe the timing isn't right, but they'll have a plan, they know. Okay, Chris has got bigger fish to fry than us, man. I'm her biggest enemy, even if she doesn't know it yet. Okay, we can get her together maybe. You don't get to tell me what to do right now. Okay, I've discovered some things about Carissa. It makes me valuable. Say I believe you. What then? Um, you're the boss. Um, use me. Glad you know your place. Okay, I can... I can help. Right. I can see in your eyes you're not a killer anyway, you wimp. Okay, you're damn right I'm a wimp, the wimpiest. Let's split up. Watch our backs by that time. I'll give you a lead to chase. Okay, yes please, I'd be grateful for that, yes. Don't stab me. That's the right attitude. Okay, first girl that went missing. It was Rose. Rose Klimenko. She must have started it all. Go talk to her mum. Okay, who the mum? You're dumb. Good that you have me. Her name is Florence. She crazy as fuck. Okay, how do I find her? The fuck do I know? Ask around. Okay, thanks for not kidding me. You're welcome. It's been real. Now get the fuck out. Alright, cheers. Thank you. Please don't stab me. Okay. This guy has no chill. So, track down Rose's mother, Florence. So, I'll, I'll just leave. I'll just let myself out now. Um, hello. Do you, do you know Florence? No, nothing this way. Head back. This is a... Uh, Bit of a rough town, people are gonna put a sword on you. Not even a knife, a sword. Hello? If you want it, it's for sale, okay? If you need it to ask, it's ask. What? Trench coat, yes, mangy ear, stripey. NASA welcomes you. Um, Howard welcomes you too. Oh, good. Looking for some nuts? Um, mm, I have them. Wonder goody, what you want then? Uh, I just wanted to say hi. Nice, nice, okay. Bye bye, weird guy. Wow, rude. Okay. That, not good, not good. So, can we. We can fire Renee, right? I spoke to Samson. Who knew that? Beverly's missing daughter Leslie was friends with Samson's sister, Maya. It's a lot. Okay, yeah, that would have been some useful context. Um, Maya's missing too and worked at the bites. All of them did. So there is a connection. The first one who went missing is Rose Klimenko. I need to find her mother. You know how? Uh, no. Can be sociable. Everybody knows everyone out there, right? Mmm, yeah. Seems like it. Must be nice. Good luck, detective. Okay, keep hunting. Gabriella, hello. I'm still looking for Florence. Can you help? Good for you. Um, do you know where I can find her? Oh, to tell you that, do you know her? Maybe. I'm investigating the missing girls, okay? Maybe they don't want to be found. Um, hmm. I think Florence's daughter was the first one to go missing. Good riddance. She was a pretty little leech. Damn. What did she do to you? Suck the life out of the hood. Tried to suck at me and Jade too, but we ain't falling for her shit. Working at the bite, you mean? Yeah, you gotta be really desperate to go there. Not us, mister. Nah. Okay. I don't want anyone else to go missing. I can help. You can't do shit. But if you upset Florence, I'll fucking skid you alive. That woman deserves some peace, you get me? I get it. I'd kill for my loved ones too. Or oh, loud and clear, loud and clear, gotcha. She's at the factory, like always. Don't tell her I told you. Um, how do I get there? Down the alley. You can see it from here. Thank you. So, there's an alley just here. 
looks legit. Let's go. Hopefully we'll find some more clues. Hello. The guard is sleeping on the job. Should be easy. I just gotta find Florence. Alright, I'll just walk by her. I'll just let myself in. Can I can I just No. Can I sneak? Sneak. Easy. I'm in. Okay, I am sneaking. There's a worker, gotta be careful. Okay, so what's I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm... Well, there's a lot of people here. Have we got to avoid those people as well? So, hang on. Keep going. Keep going. I'm just gonna go through. Almost there. Yes. Sneaking. I'm still sneaking. Hello. Oh, it's Florence. Hello. The Bite Snooper. What are you doing here? Okay, this is a... Uh, I'll snap past the guards. It is pretty amazing. Yeah, you're crazy. Can I look at Rose's stuff? I'll call the guards if you don't start making sense. Okay, didn't I tell you I was a detective that night? Yeah, we met her in... Is it part one or part two? Maybe. Okay, I want to find out what happened to Rose. Rose is gone. I don't know what I can tell you. Can you tell me about her? Every little bit helps. You were good to me when we met. I looked through her stuff. I asked everyone. Nothing. Okay, so how did she start the bite? I went there and asked for a job. That's all she told me. Look, you've got to go. The supervisor is going to be here any minute. Okay, where do you live? Can I come over to chat later? Great tenements cross the road. Block 5. You want to see Rose's room? Yes, please. Damn, fine. We can sneak out now before the super's here. Let's go. Fire exit. What, what now? Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> we'll just break out straight away. So hopefully we'll get more clues. So, um, uh, yeah, are you sure you're okay with this? Eh, it feels weird, but you seem honest. I'll try anything at this point. Okay, could you tell me about Rose? My baby girl was so sweet, strong, always took care of her mama. She wanted the best for me, but, uh, go on. Nah, nah, it's nothing. Okay, I'm not here to judge, it's okay. She respected me, but she didn't want to follow in my footsteps. If I'd done more for us, maybe, uh... Don't blame yourself, you did nothing wrong, you did your best. And we didn't always talk as much as we might have. I get so tired from work, she didn't want to burden me. Um, it's not your fault. She's so much more creative than me, clever too. I don't know where she got it from. Okay. Sorry to ask... But was there any reason that she could have run away? I mean, 101? But no, she would have told me if she was that unhappy. Okay, fine. Let's have a look around. Okay, just put the stuff back where you found it. I want to keep my baby girl's room tidy. No problem. Nice big room. So, here's the kitchen. This feels so familiar. If I turn on the lights, I could be a friendly family of cockroaches. Got a tapestry? Big yellow flower with thorns. Looks like a cheap decor piece that you get at a supermarket. Okay. And there's a picture here. White petals, small yellow centre. The artist was a child, I hope. Maybe that was her stuff. Bathroom. Do I want to go to the bathroom? It's a potted plant. Small heart-shaped leaves spilling down the pot. Looks pretty sad. It's kind of relatable. And the shower. Neglected. Hasn't been looked after in decades. Reminds me of my childhood. Okay, so our, our main character, he seems to have a, a lot of, like, uh, feelings for living in a bit of a run-down area. It's kind of like his, uh, oh, it's a bong. Book of Flowers, the guide to spiritual botany for beginners. The cup of white flower. Bedis perennis is a common species of daisy of the family of the Asteraceae often considered the archetypal species of that name. It exhibits the phenomenon of heliotropism, where the flowers follow the position of the sun in the sky. The name daisy is considered a corruption of day's eye because the whole head closes at night and opens in the day. Daisy is also commonly known as Mary's rose. Do I want to look all this up? Yellow flower. A rose is a flowering plant of the genus Rosa in the family Rosaceae, 
Rose plants. Yeah, just just to point it out, I don't know Latin, so if I'm butchering the pronunciation, I'm sorry. Rose plants range in a size from compact miniature roses to climbers that can reach seven meters in height. Rose prickles are typically sickle-shaped hooks, which aid the rose in hanging onto other vegetation when growing over it. Roses are also known as great fire flowers due to being heavily featured in the myth of creation. Okay, one more. The heart-shaped plant. Heartleaf philodendron is a species of flowering plant in the family Araceae. Parts of the plant contain calcium oxalate crystals in varying concentrations. The plant is known to have a narcotic effect on rodents. The heartfelt philodendron is known as the sweetheart plant because of the unique heart-shaped leaves. Okay. Um, put down the book. Stop reading the book. Why is there a... Oh, I know why there, but yeah, there is a bong. It's a sad empty vase. Oh, oh, wait, I see. Yeah, it's, it's a bong. Let's not get into that. Let's go to Rose's bedroom. Much cosier than the rest of the house. As if Rose never went missing and is going to come home soon. Poor Florence. Because we suspect that she's been chopped up. Oh, we've got a computer. Welcome, enter your password. Uh, password one, two, three. Damn it. Rose Klimenko? Shit. Okay, password recovery initiated. Please answer the following questions to confirm your identity. Favourite flower? Daisy? Question number two. Favourite band? Uh, I need to think. I don't know about the band. Posters. Monkey Boys. Alright. There's a crow here. So wait. Wait. She's the real shit. A true queen. So... No. What's... Hang on. What's what's her favourite band? Hello? Florence. Do you know the password? Nope. Never wanted to snoop. I don't know how to use those things anyway. And what if I saw something? Something like what? Like something that made me realise I didn't know her at all. Um. Okay. You really never tried to look. Fine, you want to know? I couldn't answer the damn questions. I should have been able to. I can't believe I didn't know her enough to answer them. Okay, kids can be private. Doesn't mean you didn't know her. Maybe you're right. She was always changing her mind anyway. Okay, we're going to try and hack her. Hang on, is there anything in the bathroom? Any more clues? No. No, we got to get into this computer. Okay. So, is it Doggy Doo or the Meow Meows? Let's go with Meow Meows. Incorrect. Access denied. Try again. This is the Doggy Doo. No. Is there something I haven't found? Cuttle Boys. Shit, Larry and I used to blast them in our dorm. Good times. The Cuttle Boys? They weren't there before. Monkey Boys. Yes. Incorrect. Damn it. Hang on. Catieri? Question number three, your pet's name? Uh, I don't know. Crow, what's your name? Um, you okay, that little birdie? Rose? Ooh, okay. No, I know, I'm, I'm Howard. He's a pretty birdo, though. Howard? Howard bird? Okay. Clever boy, what's, what's your name? Boing. Your, your name is Boing. Uh, password, password. Wawa Weewa? Wawa Weewa? Okay, are you sad little birdo? Sad whistle. <laughs> if I knew your name, it'd help me find her. Ignis. Ignis goes for the eyes. Cheers, Ignis. Thank you very much. It must have been the pet. Okay. Ignis. Welcome back, Rose. Okay, we are in. So what have we got? Secret. Okay, let's go school work secret hang on how do we navigate this thing uh, before sometimes there is blood inside and outside of my body i could wash it away but today no water runs in the bathtub it doesn't fill me it doesn't touch my shoulders my knees or my thighs i sit there silently waiting breathing letting the air in 
She's made of liquor, tears, empty envelopes, and nothing in between. I am others. Damn. Before, during, and after. Let's try during. Today is Thursday. I'm sick of being bold, and the way my voice breaks when I say a thing without meaning it. I used to sing in my head, but the theatre is now full, and the audience comes and goes. For instance, I never see the same face twice. Forgetting makes it easier, therefore. I remember the music, but not the lyrics. Okay, let's try after. Would you like to have some soup? Not really. I'd rather try the main course. The doctor says it's good for your imagination, like that time when through slicing and grinding and chewing and speaking, the flesh speaks too, saying, I am, I am, I am. Um, hmm. Wait, was there a hidden thing? Leslie, I love you. I'm taken by this newfound multifaceted moving force commanding me in all directions. There was a gaping void inside my body, an expanded space within left empty, waiting to let in bigger things. Nothing escaped, and nothing gravitated around the hole. I just sat there, without desire, pronouncing the meaningless noise of existence. And then, out of nowhere, love returned. It encompassed the whole of my being. What was once me now demands a new definition, new borders, new coping mechanisms. I come up with new words, invent new ways to communicate with the winding world in front of the eyes that were once blind. Now I know. We spoke about our future and how it's impossible, but I found a way. Boss knows about us. She mentioned a scavenger that helps people like you and me. There's life beyond the wall, and I want to live it with you. Let me know. I'm going to stay with you, whatever you decide. A life beyond the wall? Okay work clients buster carpenter interior security thug official title is vip public appearance liaison he's a complete asshole good whiskey monkey butt always trying to touch the girls brags about who he's been the bodyguard to mainly mid-level politicians who have been doing things they shouldn't have been a good source for tip-offs keep happy okay this is actually, we're getting quite deep into this. We're going to carry on with this in the next episode because we are starting to unravel some really hidden shit. But I think that this will do for now. This is Usho signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.